Chris, we have some business to get to right away, though. Uh, Kirill Kudryatsev, am I saying that right? Uh, has Kudry- signed a three-year... Kudryatsev, there you go. Three-year entry-level contract with the Vancouver Canucks. The announcement coming down at noon today. Uh, this is a Dan Milstein client, Chris. Um, seventh round pick in the 2022 NHL entry draft. And you talked with Milstein. The article's up on Canucks Army right now. But Milstein said that we thought he was going to go in the second or third round, but he ended up going in the seventh. And hey, his production in the OHL is very, very good. Yep, top five out of all teenagers on the on the back end. They're expecting to be one of the top five scoring defensemen next year in the OHL. Uh, yeah, talk to Milstein. You know, he's the best. Milstein's the best to deal with. Uh, the Canucks obviously like dealing with him as well. Uh, but yeah, he said, great personality kid. He came all the way from Russia to play in the OHL of hopes of getting drafted. He slipped in the rankings. We were expecting him to be in the second or third round. He went into the seventh round, a great pickup by Vancouver. Uh, and he is one of the top defensemen in the OHL and huge NHL potential. That is a quote from Dan Milstein. We are gold star. Let's go. Um, also, the, the the tweet from Dan Milstein. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pull it up here because this is just incredible. I, I'm gonna have to put it on my screen, Alex. Sorry, I should have got you this before. Yeah. This is this is awesome. This is just the best. Dan Milstein uh, tweet. Somebody replied to him and said, "Dan, do you have the corner office at Canuck Sports and Entertainment? When will they be announcing you as the AGM position?" Milstein quote tweets it. He says, sorry, I can't afford a pay cut. Oh, he's, I tell you, he's the best. Milstein with an <laughs> that absolute. Is savage. Yeah, we need to figure out like, uh, what do they have? Like the Woj bombs? We need like a Dan bomb sort of thing here. Like that is, uh, that's, uh, I love it. He's having fun with the Vancouver market. It's clear. It's awesome to see. Uh, you might as well. You got five clients here. He had six until Wyatt Kalyanuk was traded away. There you go. Okay, so can you can you give me some more on Kudryatsev Kudryatsev's game? Like, I, I see the points. I see you know almost a point per game player in the OHL. I see all that. But what, what's this guy actually like? Like, what's tell me about his game? Yeah, great skater, uh, good puck mover. He's he's a guy who quarterbacks the power play there for the Sioux Greyhounds. Uh, really like the way that he moves the puck. Not only kind of as he's not the thing that I liked about him and I do like about him the most is not necessarily like when he hits his own uh, blue line and makes a pass from there. It's about how quick he is at recovering a dump in and being able to quickly turn his body, look up ice and find players. Like he does a really good job of thinking the play out before it happens. Uh, And at the OHL, you have the time, you have some ability to kind of map things out before you make a decision there. And I think he does an incredible job of doing that, moving the puck well, uh, skates with good pace. Like it's nice to see in the OHL, there's times where he flies by guys uh, in the OHL. He's done this, about a dozen times this season where he just bursts through uh, anybody trying to stop him. And it's just like, he's a big body. He's like six foot one. Uh, He moves extremely well. And when he gets enough speed behind him in the OHL, he's able to just cut through people like a hot knife through butter. Uh, And he's been excellent uh, for the Sioux Greyhounds this year. He's already earned that spot of kind of being their top defenseman. Going back to the OHL next year, he will not be in the AHL. Uh, He's going back to the O. And I've been saying this for a while with him. He's one we're going to be following very closely next season. We've been following this year. Like I've seen about, uh, geez, a dozen of his games and still every, I've seen every highlight of all the points that he's put up this year, but I've only watched about a dozen of his games from start to finish of his shifts. Um, and I just think that next year's a year where we're really going to focus on him because he's going to be putting up uh, a lot of points in the OHL. He's going to be one of the defensemen who is near the top uh, for point production. So good to, for the Canucks to get him signed. Um, he's obviously not going to come this year. Not going to come next year. So his uh, contract's going to slide. Don't be surprised to see him in the OHL at the end, or sorry, in the AHL at the end of his OHL season next year. But what you really expect is for him to be an Abbotsford Canuck uh, in the 2024-25 season. He'll be in Abbotsford. He'll be playing pro hockey. Good kid. Great agent. Good stuff.